The International Code Council is the leading global source of model codes and standards and building safety solutions that are used to ensure safe, affordable, and sustainable communities and buildings worldwide. Our mission, led by the Board of Directors, is to provide the information, tools, and resources that members rely on, building safety professionals turn to, and the public trusts. We'll call the meeting to order. The primary responsibility of the board is to set the direction of the company, to give clear direction to our CEO where we want to go, what our next steps should be. The Code Council's Board of Directors is made up of 18 volunteer members who set the overall strategic direction for our organization and its programs. The board provides financial, legal, and ethical oversight, hires and evaluates the CEO, and ensures adequate resources are in place to fulfill our mission and purpose. Each board member is required to uphold fiduciary obligations to the organization by ensuring that assets are safeguarded and responsibly and effectively used to carry out our mission. We have some fairly significant items on the agenda today. The Code Council is a big company, so if the board is not functioning properly, we can really uh, disrupt the activities of, of the company. So we have to be organized, we have to be united, and we have to be on the same page to continue having things move in the right direction. The board generally meets in person several times each year in various locations, and individual board members are asked to consistently attend chapter meetings, industry events, and other code council activities throughout the year. Potential board candidates are required to be a governmental member voting representative, as defined in the Code Council's bylaws. The board is made up of four officer seats, eight at-large seats, and six sectional seats. To serve within a sectional seat, a board member must reside in a state within that given section, and only two board members from that same state can serve simultaneously. All Board of Directors candidates must submit the requisite application materials as outlined within CP-20, the nominating committee, to the chair of the nominating committee at least 60 days prior to the annual business meeting. The Code Council nominating committee will then evaluate all properly submitted candidates and provide its recommendations to the Code Council's voting members. At the Code Council's annual business meeting, a majority of the Code Council's voting members are present and voting shall elect the officers and directors to fill any vacancies on the board. So being on the board has changed my career by really opening up doors. Um, when you are a board member of the International Code Council, uh, it's really easy to get people to listen to the things you have to say, to uh, have an impact. It brings a level of credibility uh, to what you're saying. Our leadership page includes previous and upcoming board meeting details, the board terms matrix, and brief backgrounds on all board members and staff leaders. For a more detailed overview of board service, please see Serving Others, Promoting Safety, a guideline for service on the Code Council's Board of Directors.